In today's video, we're unveiling the absolute worst Karens of the month. But here's the burning question. How much Karen is too much Karen? Buckle up for the answer and let's dive into the madness. Karen's causing a scene at the drive-thru, arguing with workers over fries and refusing to pull up when they ask. But here's a twist. The workers have had enough of her attitude and give her money back refusing service to her. What's your name? No, I'm gonna record you too. Go ahead. That's fine. I don't work here. Alright, can you pull up straight ahead? She's being really rude. Okay. Can you pull I up want, you I, I ordered the large... You bore your I, 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 wait, I want to talk to the manager. That's why I you give you an A back so it don't fall manager? over. It's full. Can you, are you the manager? Can you dump it out every time. Are you the manager? No, we are managers. Can you pull I just forward? want to get the large. I don't want her to can touch you, it. Can you pull? Can, can you pull? Can I, can, 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 I, you can I know what I'm waiting for up front? Can you please? You're waiting on fries. Do you mind yes. pulling up straight ahead? Can you give me new fries to the top, please? Can you pull up straight ahead? Yeah. Can you answer my question? Can you pull up straight ahead? Yeah. Can you answer my question? Can you pull up straight what ahead? What am I waiting for up there? Okay. So. Here's your money back for your large fry. We're not serving you here no more. Okay, have a good day. Yeah, after I talk to the owner. This entitled Karen in the restaurant is freaking out over a sandwich like it's a national crisis. The worker tells her to hit the road for acting rude. But Karen decides to stir up the drama by filming the worker and threatening to sue her. I just want a regular chicken sandwich. But I can't do half of it with just You don't have to. So you just want a chicken sandwich? Yes. All right. Do you want the onions and peppers in it? Yes. Please leave. I'm not making your sandwich. I'm refusing your service now. Please leave. Please leave. Ma'am. Please leave. Ma'am. Why are you not making please. the sandwich? Because you're at you're acting like I'm stupid. So I am asking you to leave. I'm refusing your service now. I would appreciate it if you left my building. Call the police. Then. I will call the cops on you. Okay. I will do it. I'll wait here to just to find no, out. You if... can wait outside. Well, I'll wait you here. You can wait outside. I'll wait here. I am asking you to leave my building because you're treating me like garbage. So I need you to leave, please. How did I treat you like garbage? Yeah, I need you to please. I'm just saying okay. Please. If you're saying okay, then please get out of my building. I appreciate it. Thank you. I literally have it on recording. That's what she said. Ma'am. I was talking to him. I can refuse service to anybody, so I'm going to need you to. Where does it say that at? It says that in my handbook, so please. Can you show me that? No. Okay, well, call the police. Ma'am, get out of my building. No, because I'm going to report you for this. For what? Be refusing service to me because I asked for a sandwich. You asked for something that I cannot make you. And then when I, I said I out, said I wanted a chicken sandwich. I asked for a chicken sandwich. Yeah. I still keep asking please, for a chicken please, sandwich. I'm not making it. I thought that we've been through this. May you please exit my building. I'm waiting for the police. I haven't called them. Because I'm going to sue them. I'm going to sue you for oh, mistreating okay. me. Oh. Yes, I am. Okay, yes, ma'am. This guy finds a mint gum in his pizza, so he goes up to the worker to confront him about it. Surprisingly, the worker stays cool, gives him a refund, and even hands over the corporate number. Okay, I need to know who the hell is chewing gum here. Sorry? Who is chewing gum? Because we got gum inside of our pizza and I'm not happy right now. That's not gum. It's not. That's mint. That's mint gum. I can't they bit into the pizza and there's inside of it. Somebody here making it, drop their gum in here and left it inside the pizza. And I didn't know what you guys are going to do about this. If you'd like, I can give you your money back and throw this away for you. I can make another pizza for you, whatever you like. I definitely like a refund on this. Okay. Because I am not happy about this. I'm not sure. I mean, there's no reason happy. why somebody should be chewing gum while they're crappy the food because, one, that's a major health care violation. And I need corpus on the way. Okay, but I mean, as far as that goes, like, I'm not sure how that could happen. Um, yeah, I don't know either, but whoever's prepping the food really needs to do their job better because this is ridiculous. I, There's I, no I, reason it should be done inside of this. It was Mike. I don't think he even took my name, but it was two uh, hot and ready's probably about 10 minutes ago. 
it was cash. It should have been like 13, 13 something for the total. Were they both classics? Uh, yeah, just both classics. There's 12, 13. I just refunded the entire order. Okay. Help me to click a summer. Little Caesars Listens is the website that I have you go through. On there, they may still have an 800 number, but I'm pretty sure they're sending everyone through a website instead of actually calling them for a point. This guy's sandwich comes with an unexpected side dish, a hair. He talks to the worker about the issue, asking for a refund, and the workers are polite enough to apologize and give his money back. Hey, I came through the drive-thru. I mean, I'm totally dissatisfied with this. What happened? If you look, um, I was eating it, and a couple big pieces of hair... Oh, no. Came out of this. And I thought it was just something off of me. And I started to eat more. And another big piece of hair came off it. Oh, okay. It's probably laying down in here. Let but I'm just... It. Yeah, it's it. just... And the fries were not fresh, neither. There was hair in this. I don't know where it's at now. But I started eating. It was a big piece of hair. There it is. Look right there. Look at the hair on it. See that hair? Look right there. Yep. Oh. That's totally disgusting. I understand. So I just, I'm, I'm very dissatisfied. Just would like my money back. My, my receipt's right here. I start getting into, start biting into it, and I looked at a piece of hair. I thought it came off me. I yeah, looked I was, again. I was just hey, Mark, up, can you get? Are you on time? Yeah. I'm just it ruined my whole appetite, man. Oh. I had to turn all the way back around. I start eating it, and I'm like, Oh, I'm so sorry. That's awful, and I'm sorry you had that experience. Oh. I'll take care of it. I thought people were supposed to wear hand and hair nets when they make the food anyways. Yeah. Yes, sir, we wear hats and all that. But, you know, there's no preventative measure that can stop stuff 100%. I understand. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Have a good day. You're Thanks. Well. And if you ever want to come back, we'll make it right for you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's just, you go to bite into a sandwich, man, and you, there's stuff in it that's not supposed to be there. I have one little hair I seen, but after I start looking at it, I said, man, another big piece, I taste it in my mouth. I'm like, I don't be eating people's hair, man. No, I totally get it. You guys need to fix that, because it's going to ruin customers. Thank you. This guy totally freaks out when he discovers yellow cheese instead of the white cheese he ordered in his burger. He starts filming the worker, giving them a hard time about it. Even though they're remaking his food, Karen keeps filming the worker and harassing them over a cheese. Mr. Javier, yeah. what does that say right there? Where? The receipt. What, is, what does my order say? And what part? What does the order say? The uh, number right here. No, what does the order say for this sandwich? An extreme sausage with Swiss style cheese mm. and then a small drink with uh, some croissant. Is that Swiss cheese on there? The Swiss cheese is on the extreme sausage. Okay. I asked for white cheese instead of yellow cheese. Ask her. She, she right there. Ask her. Okay. So on the Swiss, so on the extreme, it says North American cheese with Swiss cheese. So you want American and Swiss cheese? No. I, I said switch the yellow for white. Okay. So on the Supreme Croissant, you want that as well with the white cheese as well? This cheese, I don't want yeah. yellow cheese, period. So I'm talking about the Supreme Croissant now. What about it? You wanted the Supreme Croissant with the yellow cheese or the white cheese? This extreme sausage. Okay, right uh, the extreme cheese, the extreme sausage. I established that one. You want that with Swiss cheese. Now I'm talking about the Supreme Croissant, the number 21. Do you want that with the white cheese or the yellow? Cheese? White, both. That's both, both with white. That's what I'm asking right now. Yeah. Okay. Just give me one second, and I'll have it replaced for you. Probably just one. It's, it's, it's something wrong, man. I'm sorry. It's something wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because you, you have to go to orientation in San Diego. The reason I asked you for the corporate number mm -hmm. is because my brother used to work for Jack in the Box. I had to take him to corporate every time he had to go to orientation. So for you to tell me that you don't know the corporate number, that's beyond me, dude, for real. I don't have a phone. The, 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 the yeah. fact that you could say that, I knew you were lying, but that's okay, though. Your attitude, not manager at all. Okay. At all. Trust me. You're going to have to pay for your actions. Okay. Believe that. Okay? Mr. Karen at the drive-thru wanted a pup cup. But when the manager said no, his ego got hurt. 
So he started cussing at her, demanding a pup cup, and refusing to leave the place. The worker had enough and called cops on him for trespassing. Finally, the cop showed up and told him to leave. Mr. Karen had to leave with a broken heart. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, please. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a video. I'm going to need you to leave, sir. Uh, why was the reasoning why you won't we give me a pup cup? We're, we're not about to do cup, pup cups. Yes, you are. I come here two, three times a week, every week, and get a pup cup. Every time we're I come here. We're not supposed to do pup cups. If they're doing it, they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's a, it, do you not understand? It's just a little cup of whipped cream. So I need to leave, please. Why won't you give me a pup cup? Because we do not do pup cups at this establishment. Bullshit. Came here yesterday and got a pup cup. Somebody hand me the phone, please. Call the police. She's calling the police because I want a pup cup? Let's see what the police have to say because a, a person wants a pup cup? Seriously, you're calling the police because someone wants a pup cup. That's absolutely <laughs> absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous. Cassopolis, Michigan. No, that's absolutely ridiculous. All you have to do is put some god whipped cream in a cup and so that my dog can have a pup cup. And I was paying for it. I asked to pay for it. You, you McDonald's people need to start, start, like, come on now. It's a freaking pup cup. Irrigant McDonald's manager right there. Right there. Cassopolis, Michigan. I'm going to corporate with this. Court McDonald's doesn't support dogs, but you want me to round up to support the freaking kids every time I come here? It's a little bit of whipped cream in a cup, and I'm paying for it. It's a pup cup. Quit being so stubborn. Just give me a freaking pup cup. This could all be averted with a little bit of whipped cream in a cup for my dog. This is why America's going to people like you. We don't do pup cups. I came here two, three times a week and get a pup cup. Tell me I can't get a pup cup. Wait till you lose your job when I send this to corporate. I'm waiting till the police get here. Not much, man. It really didn't need to escalate like this, but uh, I'm only recording for my safety and because of what they're doing. But I come here two, three times a week, almost every like day. And I just asked, I was like, hey, I bring my dog because she gets excited every time I come to McDonald's because I get her a little pup cup. I literally asked if just, I can. Let me just talk to him. I literally just came up to the window. I was like, hey, can I pay for a pup cup, just a little cup of whipped cream? And she's like, no, we don't do that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I came here yesterday and got a pup cup. I'm like, what's the big deal? It's just a little whipped cream in a little cup. And she's sitting there making a big deal saying, we don't do pup cups. You need to leave. I want you to leave. I'm like, hold on. I'm going to pull up my phone. I'm like, you guys are really refusing to give me a pup cup for 35 cents that, you know, it shouldn't be asking. And she's like, I'm calling the cops if you don't leave. I said, go ahead and call the cops because I want to document this because they're calling the cops on a customer, a paying customer that comes here regularly mm -hmm. we're just out here to keep the peace that's that's what i want you said you were uh screaming at him and yelling at him and videotaping and i wasn't screaming so. or yelling you're getting donald's manager right there just give me a freaking pup cup this is why america's going to people like you i'm gonna i'm gonna send the video to corporate he good with you? he's good with me okay man you're banned find another place that's cool. i don't know if if, if I won't come back here. I, don't, I don't, appreciate that because I, I understand your part, but I don't yeah. want to see you being the aggressor coming back. There. Absolutely. All right, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. All right. Fist bump. All right. Fist bump works. This entitled male Karen in the restaurant tries to order food while the worker is busy. Instead of waiting, he starts harassing and filming the worker, going on about bad customer service. So, are you ready to take my order now? Daddy, yes, you're not talking. I can't understand you. Well, that's what you like to do is that you don't want to communicate. No, I asked you and you were busy doing something else. I said, I'm ready now. And you said, well, can't you see I'm busy doing something else? The customer always comes first. You can take a second and say, okay, sir, in one moment. You didn't do that. 
You just kept on doing what you're doing, standing there and ignoring me. That's why I asked. I said, well, can you help me, please? You know, the customer no, always comes first. No, you're putting words in your own mouth. You right. do not say that. Well, are you ready to take my order now? No, because you decided to be this way. I decided to be what way? A customer? Yeah, entitled. Okay, well, can I? No. No, not entitled. That is what you said. I didn't, I didn't say anything about being entitled. I asked to speak to a manager. And you said, do you see one here? Yeah. Well, okay, well, let me ask you again. Is there a manager on duty right now? No, there isn't. Okay. Is there a supervisor on duty? No, there isn't. Okay, so are you ready to take my order then? No. So you, are you going to take my order, yes or no? No, I'm not. Why? Because you decide to give me attitude. I didn't give you an attitude. I asked you to do your job. That's what I asked. I, he was doing something else, and I said, hey, I'm ready for my order, and he still stood there doing something, bent over, and said, excuse me, could you take my order? Oh, it's because he has to deposit money. He's on the I understand that. No, you did not understand that. I understand. That. You, you can't put words in my mouth. I understand that. He could have acknowledged me and said, sir, one moment. He didn't do that. Yeah. What did he say? I'm busy doing something. Can't you see that? Yeah. Is that how you treat customers? No. Would you want to be treated that way? Would you want your family member to be treated that way? Would you treat somebody that way if your manager was standing here? Do you just want to say sorry? Well, he doesn't have to say sorry. It just act like a human being and don't have an attitude. Oh, that's all I'm asking. You, right? You were saying you are always right. No, I never said that. No, you did say that. I said I am a customer. The customer comes first. You're recording. This is a business. My dollars pay your salary. My dollars pay the electricity. Not just my dollars. Anybody that comes through that door. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send it to your corporate office, and I'll let them make the decision on what happens. All right, can you take my order, ma'am, please? Not on the clock. That's the thing. But I'll take it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. And you're not on the clock. I'm okay. okay. This dude in the neighborhood confronts an old guy who was threatening a kid and his dog. The old guy says the dog was trying to attack his wife. But instead of calling animal control, he decides to chase the kid and threaten him. I don't care. You don't need to hit it with nothing. You don't need to hit it with anything. I'm not gonna hit him with nothing. I want to. The then go on. Go on. Do you need a leash, bud? And there's a treat for him too. Don't be thanking me. Go on. Yeah, don't you dare. Go on. What do you mean, don't dare? That dog come in my yard and attack me. Then do it there. Don't you chase it out of the yard. And don't Wait, be threatening Daniel. the kid. Don't be threatening the kid with the dog. Are you serious, bro? Well, well, what? The dog get to attack my wife. That's a 72-year-old Then call woman. the cops or the animal control. Don't go Why out here. Why are you taking a picture of me? Because you came up to me with a... I'm taking a video. Because you came out here threatening the kid. I'm protecting myself, dumb... Not, not in their I'm yard. I'm protecting myself, dumb... Not in their yard. Go on. You. Go on. Oh, Lord. Do what? Take your back down there. You know what? I got your number now. Great. I know I was going to give you a break before, okay. but I ain't giving you no breaks no more. For what? You come out here threatening the kid okay. with the dog? Okay, all right, whatever, brother. <laughs> this cisgender woman got harassed by a transphobe Karen who thought she was a trans woman using the ladies' room. Huh? <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Are you a man or a woman? Why does that matter? Well, because you're in a ladies room. Okay. And I have gotten called out several times for being in the men's room. Okay. And you're going to be called out for whatever you're doing. So what are you identifying as today? I don't think that's any of your business. Okay, it's not. So you're in a ladies room where I think I need to identify you. You do not need to identify me. Is that right? How old yeah. are you? Doesn't matter. Really? Okay. Go so over for the place to come and get your room. Okay. Let's make sure the police. Yeah, because this is not the way you play your. Sh Go down on the strip and try to do it there. Don't do it up here. This is a suburb, not allowed. 
not allowed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think you're gonna be a woman when I, it's okay, and be a man when it's okay. No, no. Figure out your identity in your bedroom, uh -huh. okay? okay? And then project it on everybody else and we'll accept it. Uh -huh. This is not acceptable. Let's go get security. Yes, let's, let's do rest. That. Um, she's harassing me for being in the bathroom. What's going on? Well, this guy was just chilling in front of his house, and Karen decides to harass him, thinking he doesn't live there. But the guy handles crazy Karen well and puts her in her place. What did you just say? What are you right now sitting out here doing? I'm minding my own business. What are you doing? I don't think you are minding your own business. Okay, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not really sure, but I'll figure it out. Okay, you figure it out. I'm probably where I live. Yeah, I live here too. Okay, so I'm probably at my house where I live. Got it. You feel good? Did you, did you do what you needed to do? What the f are you doing right now? I'm standing outside my house. You're standing outside of my house. Why are you standing outside of your house? doing what you're doing. I don't think that's any of your concern, what I'm doing. Well, you're doing something. Why don't you go back to your house and I'll be at my house. You sound like an idiot. You walked over from your house standing in front of me at my house yeah, trying did. to tell me I'm Absolutely, an idiot? Absolutely, I did. Okay, good job. So what are you doing? I think I'm doing none of your f business. Bye. And that's where she came from. It's called being black, folks. Can you believe it? This Karen at the drive-thru drops this guy's food on the floor in the parking lot. When he asks for a new one, Karen refuses to give him one and says this one is all fine because it was wrapped and the burger didn't touch the floor. You won't believe how this McDonald's employee <laughs> behaves. Hi. Comment your opinions. You just uh, dropped the food. Yeah, but it's, all, it's in the wrapping so it's fine. Yeah, but the food is on the floor. Yeah, but the burger wasn't on the floor. It's just the packaging, so the burger's fine. Sorry about that, but like, it's completely fine. I want another burger. But can you not just have the food? It didn't touch the floor. Fresh one, maybe? It didn't touch the floor. It's just but the it did packaging. Though. No, it, it didn't. Did though. I just, just saw it. I just saw the food no, go okay, on the floor. Sorry, but there's no well, need for the What do you mean, rudeness? sorry, I'm there's rudeness? There's no need for the rudeness. But like, you just dropped my food. I didn't drop your food. You just dropped the food. It's just the packaging. It's it did. literally just the Would packaging. Would you be okay if we had a new one, please? No, sorry. But like, but like, why not? Because it didn't touch the floor. There but was like, a, I don't want that. The product didn't touch the floor, so I I've paid for it, yeah. I've okay, paid for fine. it. And as I've said, it didn't touch the floor, so I don't see the issue. The so food touched the floor. I don't want it. Do you Take not, your hands out of my car. You want your food or not? No, I don't want this it. Is your food. I don't want it. I don't want it. You, you physically put your hands in my car, yeah? What? You trying to fight me now? This is your food. But yeah, but I don't want it. I don't care, man. Do you want the food? What do you mean you don't care, man? I want you to know. Listen, listen yeah, don't get moody, yeah. don't get angry. I want you to go inside, yeah. Listen, so yeah, you need to calm yourself you down. Go inside there and, and give me new food. Excuse me. What do you mean, excuse don't me? Don't speak to me like that. I, I, I told you, here, you, you dropped my food. I've come here to give you your food. You, you, you dropped so my food. Take your food. No, 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 no. no. Take you, your food. you go inside. Go inside. And have a good and give day. Me some, what do you mean, you have a good day? Take your food and have a good day. So, it hasn't touched the floor, so therefore there's no. But the pork's dropped. Why can't you just get me new food? Because the food didn't touch the floor. It's going to affect you. It's going to affect you. So just take the food and call it a day. No, 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 I'll call it a day. When you go inside and give me some fresh food. No. But you dropped it. Yeah. What, what do you mean? No? But the food didn't touch the floor, though. That's what I'm, I'm saying clean. to you. It's, it's not clean. It's not it hygienic. It doesn't matter. We've just got out of a pandemic, yeah? And, like, you're trying to get us into a new one. You, the product didn't touch the floor. The amount it's of just... bacteria. What, what do you mean it didn't touch the floor? It, it did touch, touch the floor. I've got it on camera. I've got it on camera. The yeah, box. And as you can see, the, the box on the bag. The floor. It even if it was a bag, even if it was a bag. So it, just because the bag touches floor, that means you deserve a whole new meal. Yeah, of course. That is ridiculous. How is that it ridiculous? ridiculous? And that's what, not how things why, work. Why did you drop it in the first sir, place? Sir, that's why, not why how you drop in the first work. place. Sorry, sir. Why did you drop it in the first that's place? That's not for? how things work. It's an accident. Accidents happen. Your food didn't touch the floor, so therefore there is no issue there. So you can have your food. You, you, you take that back, go in there, and then do drop, and then get us a new one. Disgusting.
disgusting behaviour. Food coming off the floor, like Sorry about that, baby. it's dirty it, it now. Didn't touch the floor. You, you've you've dirty the floor. It's not dirty. You've, you've dirty the food. It was in the packaging, so it's not dirty. But like, how do you know that though? As because a, like, I saw it with my own eyes. But food, what do you mean it's just a packaging? The food didn't touch the floor. But like, it, it technically did. But it didn't. Yeah, like you just dropped it. Sorry like, about that, but like I don't want to eat like. But the, the issue is, yeah. Karen loses it when she sees a truck parked in front of her property. She starts threatening him to leave and even tries to put her hands on them. Dude. You're gonna hit me? Okay. You, you touched touch me. me. You just oh, touched me. Touch you. Yeah, you did. Right Move! Now! I'm not moving. No! For assault? No! Yes. You touched me first. No, I did not touch yeah, you first. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I have no. it on What papers you got to be on my property? Am I on your property? You are. How Where'd you get you this? Where's your property? Where's your papers to go on my property? I have, I have it. Let me have it right now. I have everything. Let me have it. I don't need to show it to yeah, you. Yeah, you do. No, I do not. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Nope. At first glance, this woman might seem like she's going full Karen, but she's just reminding an entitled driver that speed limits exist for a reason. Yeah, and when you turned off Highway 31, because I was delivering food to somebody, because that's what I do. And you were going about 60 miles an hour down this curvy road, and then you hit a garbage can, and it, made, it went all over their own road. And when they have to call to get another one, they have to pay $50 for a replacement. And then you ran, I was right behind you. When you ran through this stop sign, you came to a rolling stop. You slowed down in that before you killed somebody. So what's the problem? You, the way you drive. So you're just stopping to tell me how to drive? I guess so I am. I did not run I don't that care what you want. Because when you kill somebody, we be somebody you know and love. I didn't kill nobody. Um... You can one day. You can too. Yeah, I know. I know how to drive. Okay, I do too. No, you knocked out that garbage can. This guy was going off on the worker, shouting for a refund. When the worker asked him to leave, he refuses to go and starts cussing at them. Customer almost throws hands with employees. Karen thought it would be a great idea to throw the guy's fishing pole into the lake. But when the guy confronts her, she gets mad and starts arguing with him. Just threw a pole in. Uh, it wasn't? I thought it was mine. He just gave me that. What are you guys doing? Oh, recording me? Nope. He just gave me that line? No. Nope. And now you're recording me? Where did we say we gave it to you? That line right there. You Where said it was mine. Where did we say we gave it to you? He did. He Where? gave it to Where? me. Where? He told me Where? I would love you so much. I'm giving you this fishing pole. Hey, no, I'll call the cops. No. I don't have to look to him. I already know what you are. 
guest. Guess what you are. Say it. I already told you. Say it. A guest. Say it to my face. I already did. Say it. Did I? Did, you didn't say did it. Did I stutter? No, you, oh, you did stutter. You know why? What? You didn't say it. I, no. If you said it, I know, right? Yeah, but what are you trying to get me to say? Say it. I don't know what you want to say. Oh, I already you told you. You want to say something? I already told you. you to I already something? told you. It's already real. What did you say then? What did I say? You didn't say anything. I know I didn't. See? Record that mother. See? Did you hear him? You yeah, you already that I didn't so say anything. Say it. Say it to my face right I now. I already did. Say it. Nothing. You said I say didn't it. say anything. Say it. I already said. Say it. I already said. Yes, I told. You. See? He f***ing lies. And then he tells the truth. You didn't say anything. Now what are you going to tell the cops? No, it's called cops already. Doing it. Why are you comparing it out in the lily pads then? Because that's where the fish are. There are no fish in the lake. How do you know that? I know. You, you swim in there? Hey, Ken, let's catch that. Two days ago, it's me. Yep. It's back. That, I'm not trying to catch it. No, there. that's a lie. Guess what uh, you are? Some ladies yeah. yelling at us for Guess fishing. What? No, I know, but that's yeah, a lie. Guess what you are? Yeah, she threw one of them. See ya. You're leaving. Well, she's, she's trying to leave right now. What do you mean I'm trying to leave? I can come and go as I please. Uh -huh. I didn't bother you at all. I go, I come and go every day. Uh, one four is just in the water, and then the other two are, are, are good. Enjoyed this Karen video? Click here to watch more insane Karens, or hit subscribe to stay up to date with all of the latest Karen drama.